Hi, I'm Dr. Nikita Visniak, and this is... I'm Dr. Drew Jameson. And? I'm Dr. Tanner Alden. Today we're going to talk about forearms, and we're going to compare a number of different forearms here, so I'll go ahead and start. First, I'll show us a standard academic forearm, and this discussion will really be about the tendons on these forearms, but that's a normal academic forearm right there where you can see the tendons coming down. We'll get our power lifter to come in here a little bit and show us his forearm. And if you look there, you can see fairly good definition on his tendons as well. A lot more muscle mass definitely there. And then if we get our rock climber, now you're going to see a big difference right there. So Tanner will go ahead and give us that. And let's even just look at the size. And we'll get you two guys together because that's our real comparison right here. Look at the thickness of these two tendons. If you look at the rock climber's tendons, they are literally twice as thick as our power lifter's tendons. All right? Let's have some comment on that so you guys can go ahead and relax. So Tanner, what's been your experience with the forearm and the, and the tendons and all that kind of stuff? Uh, so my experience, I've been climbing for uh, just almost nine years. Okay. Um, initially starting, your, your muscles hypertrophy or they get bigger than your tendons much faster. They respond to stress faster. Yep. Uh, so a very common thing in climbing is that you will, in rock climbing, is that your tendons will get injured within the first two years because your muscles have gotten stronger than your tendons. All right, and that's the key thing that I want to stress for everyone is when you're talking about this tendon growth, tendons lag behind muscles by approximately two to five years depending on the research that you read and how much you're actually using them. And here you can see, like Drew, how long have you been powerlifting for? So I've been lifting off and on now for about 16 years. I started when I was 16, so yeah, it's been about 15, 16 years of yeah. Heavy lifting, um, everything I do in the gym is grip strength dependent. Yeah. Um, so I haven't been shying away from that. I don't use straps. I do use chalk, uh, but a lot of demand on my uh, wrist yeah. flexors. And so if you're looking at both of these guys right here, what do you see? Very, very strong builds right here, but you look at just the physical amount of time. And let's just get a shot again of the forearms right there. It's physical load under pressure over time that's causing this difference, okay? Time under tension. And you can see the much, much larger tendons on our rock climber compared to our, our power lifter. Now, as far as dead weight to lift, I'm sure Drew can lift a little bit more weight, but as far as functional capacity, okay? It's our, <laughs> probably his functional capacity, though, if somebody was trying to climb up something, you would crush, you would crush him on that one, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting. It's a very specific, um, a specific strength that you gain in your hands and through your, uh, through your tendon growth. Um, so I've seen lots of really, really strong individuals coming and climbing, uh, and they, they really struggle with it. I mean, as guys, we love to pull with our upper body. Climbing is a lot about your uh, lower body movement as well. Yeah. All right, anything else you guys want to add to it? No, just other than uh, with all the lifting and all the strength training I've done, I've hung out with Tanner a time or two and tried some rock climbing and the only thing that will prepare you for that is doing that on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah, all the exactly. grip strength in the gym, all of the lifting, all the strength in your wrist, it does not prepare you for climbing up a, uh, you know, a wall or at a gym or yeah. a rock climbing facility. It's, um, it's a whole other level and it flared my elbows up actually quite bad that yeah. one day we did it, so. <laughs> yeah. Start slow, yeah. start slow, for yeah. sure. So I just wanna stress that again. So basically, if you're looking at weight training, rock climbing, be aware that it's gonna take a while for your tendons to actually catch up to the strength of your muscles, especially if you get into athletes and patients who use anabolic steroids, you'll see increased injury rates, especially for the forearms as well, even a lot of pulley injuries when people are trying to hold and pull there. I don't know if you wanna make comment on that. Yeah, I've actually, um, <clears throat> I actually blew my, uh, my pulley on the, my ring finger on my uh, right hand. And that, I mean, that full strength gaining back probably took close to, uh, close to a year to feel, feel good about it again. But yeah, it's not a comfortable thing to do. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Good stuff. Yeah. All right.